I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom right click menu. So here's just like a blank sample page and right clicking works normal everywhere on here. But on this image we have a custom right click menu with a refresh page, send to Twitter, and send to Facebook. And it's nicely styled, um, it follows your mouse where you click. Um, and by right clicking again it moves there and by left clicking it disappears. So let's get right to the code. So here's the blank page I have for this. Um, and right here it's the same thing as that last page except the right click menu uh, works normally. So let's add this. Um, here's just some blank page or a blank page and make sure you have jQuery on here. So here's just my styling and things. So first let's actually make the right click menu and then we can bind functions to it. Um, so I can just go over here and um, make a div. Div ID menu. Okay. Um, here, span class menu. I am uh, adding lists. Uh, you can do that too. Um, but I I prefer spans just just for this purposes of this. This would be send to Facebook. Um, and you can just add whatever you want. Um, new item, send to Twitter. Yeah. Okay, so this is the basic skeleton for the structure. So when we, when we load this, we have this thing right here, and you can't obviously uh, you obviously can't see the line break div because we haven't made that yet. Um, but let's just add some quick styling. Uh, now let's add our positioning. We're, we're gonna make this like with an absolute position, just because we want it to go um to the x and y of our mouse pointer. So um, here first, or actually, no way. Let's set display to none. And so it will not appear there when we start that. So um, let's add in some scripts. Uh, ah. Okay, and um, yeah, this is just, you know, I really like how this turned out. So, so um, let's just add a document. Or the ready function um, with bakery. So uh, let's add a click event listener on the trees. And, uh, um, we're going to want to do mouse down uh, reasons yeah, what you're about to see. Um, and I just close this real quick uh, to avoid errors. Okay. If we go back here, um, so this is how you detect if it's a right click. If e dot button is equal to, uh, to two, um, then let's just have it right now. Just alert, hey. Um. So now when we right click on here, alert, hey. But we still have the right click menu up. Um. And if you put on here, it'll still open. So. That won't work. So what we're gonna have to do instead is, and this isn't part of jQuery. This is just part of JavaScript. Um, here. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have a document dot get element by ID and tr trees. And I know uh, uh, jQuery is part of JavaScript, but like you know what I mean. It's raw JavaScript, like without jQuery. So um, this is on con text menu. This is an HTML5 event. So we're gonna want this to function return false. And this is how we do it. The on context menu, like, is um on the right click. So when you preview this, we'll still have an alert and stuff, but there'll be no right click menu because of that script right there. So we can erase this and let's have um the menu up here. Um I'm sorry. 
menu. Oh, oops. Okay. So this is going to show. See, and that, that appears right there. Okay. Right. Um. And we'll add more styles to that later, uh, because it obviously doesn't look amazing right now. Um, so now the problem is, when we click away, it doesn't disappear. So, we can add a, um, a click listener for the document. Dot click function. Um, let's bring this over here. It's cleaner. So, uh, let's have another if e dot button equals zero, and zero is left click. And the reason you also can't have it go on, um, the reason you need to make sure it's a right click is because Firefox, otherwise it'll mess up in Firefox because, like, as soon as you right click, when you release, it'll disappear too. Even if you just go like this, it'll disappear as soon as you release, which is a problem be um, because I think it fires the click function when you start clicking and in clicking, but even if you change this to mouse down or mouse up, it'll still have that problem. So you just have to make sure it's left click because it won't do that if it's only left click. And let me actually just make this fade in 100. So then let's have this menu fade out D. And a nice thing about this is that um, even if like it's hidden already, the fade out won't do anything, so you don't need to add any more listeners here. And then, oops, so if we click right click anywhere on this, that click menu will appear. Right click anywhere else, it won't happen. If we click here, even if we click on that, it'll disappear, which is good. If we click on here, it'll disappear. If we click anywhere in the document, it'll disappear. So that's exactly what we want. Um, yeah. And so now the only thing is we want we need it to go to the mouse point when you right click. So let's do this before it fades in, just so it won't like fade in and then snap somewhere. Uh, so we're gonna set menu. Remember, it's already position absolute, so we can use the page X and page Y. Um, menu dot CSS left. Um, set this to E which is the event object we're getting right here um, that page x plus 5 so it'll go a bit farther to the left than it needs to go and then let's also set men menu dot css top e dot page y plus 5 as well so it'll go down a bit more so then when we try this um, when we right click here's a right click menu and you click away to get it to disappear and when you click on this it also disappears that way when, uh, when you go to another page it'll be there so um now that we have this let's style the right click menu a bit more um so remember oops what did I do okay so um each of these have the like each of the spans have a class menu item so let's do menu item oh and this is also why we only add the padding top and bottom because if we go over here, as you notice, like when I mouse over, it um like the background when the background color changes of this, uh, you see it also goes to the edge over there, which would not be achieved if you um had the set the padding all over for that. I'm sorry if that didn't make sense. Um yeah, like uh, this is my first video, so I'm learning. Um anyways, so we can add padding left five px. Which is the same as we had up there. Padding or right five pixels. Um, and I think, or actually, we should just like add some font. Font family. Uh, let's just do Arial Helvetica Sans uh, Serif. Okay, so that's all good. But so then that's um for that nice hover effect, do menu item, colon hover, uh, do background color, and then get a nice light color like that, and insert, ok, 
Okay, um, so I'm going to preview this. Oops. Um, I will need to make this thing a bit wider. And actually, now that I think about it, since it's, do we even need a width? No, it's, that's absolute position. Let me see. Nope, we don't. Okay. Uh, that's, that's cool. And let's just make this a bit more noticeable right here, because it's kind of hard to notice the hover effect. Have it like there. Let's try that. Oh, that's too bright. Um, I'm sorry. Get that. And sorry if I'm picky. That was something to see. No, that, that's good enough. Um, so. Uh, then let's just style the line break. To make it look nice. Um, I'm sorry, that's my printer. Um, so, line break. Uh, whoop. percent Um, and then height. One pixel. Okay, and then add a background color of. Oh. Let's get a light color like that. Insert. Um, okay. Oops, just let it load. I'm sorry, one second. It seems to be glitching. Oh, there we go. Actually, maybe that's not the best. What if we added a dark color? That would probably look a bit better. Um, like that's good enough. Uh, and then, like, because you can see it's off center, I want it centered. So we can do is margin left and set that to auto. Uh, margin. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah! Right? Also auto. And then when we preview this, we get a nice center effect. Um, and let me just also add a pet on here, a margin bottom, like, two pixels. Oh, that, that, yeah, that's good enough. Um, so, and now just to make the things do things. Oh, but actually one more thing. Um, see how the mouse pointer to the text was sent to Facebook, like, you know, the select text? Uh, we don't really want that. So we can just go here and do a cursor, cursor default, and this will work in every browser, um, which is nice. So it'll look like this, um, which is the desired thing. So um, okay, let me just add IDs to these so we can do the proper click events, um, and I'm just gonna do the clicks right here instead of adding an on click function onto here. But so let's make this ID Facebook, um, this ID Twitter, and this ID at refresh. So then let's make a click function for each of these. Um, okay, so Facebook dot uh, click. The wrong function. There you go. Uh, so then we should have a uh, window dot open. I believe that's the right thing. Um, let's see if that works. Um, I'm not actually gonna have like it open a share thing, uh, just because. Um, I don't think that's necessary. Like you could do that if you wanted to. Twitter.com and then last but not least. And there are obviously better ways to do this, I'm just doing it quickly. Refresh. Um and this will do a location dot reload. Uh and again in this but this is also good if you don't want people to save images. And if you really don't want someone to save images, you could also add um draggable false to this and then as you can see I can't drag the image to put it up in a new tab um, and there are a billion tricks to make it so someone can't save an image like um, having it on the server and having no hyperlinking and stuff so even if someone found it in the source code um, near the source code uh, they wouldn't be able to get it to work um, but yeah I guess that's all all for this I hope you liked it